Ho, 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 tubers. Yeah! It's freaking Christmas time. Let's hear it. What? Hear what? I'm sorry for that. Um, yeah. I look like a chef. I look like a chef or I look like I work at a resort. But I kind of like it. It makes me feel professional. But then I tied it up so I'm like kind of trendy. Hey guys, what is up? It is Christmas time. It's the season where we're pasty, depressed, and all of our baggage is coming up. And we want to leave it all behind. This isn't a video where I just talk about my baggage, but I kind of wanted to talk about my past experiences during Christmas time. I just kind of want to relive some cringy situations that have happened to me. First of all, though... First of all, I got... replaced. I never thought this day would come, because I'm the baby in the fam, but there's a new baby Baska. And he's adorable. And a boy. And his name is Charlie. Charlie, Charlie is, my is my mom's, mom's new puppy, puppy who literally, literally looks, looks like, like a teddy bear. Teddy bear. Fluffy, Fluffy, hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic doesn't shed. shed. Golden yellow, yellow like the like sunshine, the sunshine. Literally, literally a beam of light. light. Cute, Cute button nose, button -nose. Clumsy, clumsy, falls, falls over, over all the time. time. He has thick ass paws, which is so disproportionate from the rest of his body, so it's just adorable. He looks like an actual bear because his paws are so thick and fat. <sighs> looks at you with the sweetest, kindest eyes. Those were all the qualities that I had in myself as the baby basket, but I've been replaced. And I'm actually handling it pretty well. I thought I was going to be more sad about it. It did hurt really bad when I saw the Christmas picture this year. Usually my mom and dad would take me and my sister every year to go sit on Santa's lap even when we were in high school. But it was always kind of funny looking back on those pictures of us in high school, literally sitting on a 50-year-old, maybe 60-year-old man's lap who was just dressed up in a Santa Claus costume and probably does not want to be there and is being paid minimum wage. I want to be the baby again. No, I don't. Do I? I do. Whatever. So, um, I'm gonna take you guys back in time. Okay, so my parents really pushed the idea of Santa Claus on me and my sister growing up. My parents still made us go see Santa every year at the mall and pushed that on us until we graduated high school. Our friends would just walk by us in the mall and point at us and laugh. When I was like, I want to say 11, we were about to go to the mall so we can sit on Santa's lap. I was freaking out because I couldn't think of anything that I wanted. And I remembered that we always get Toys R Us catalogs in the mail. I go to my mailbox, grab a Toys R Us catalog, and brought it with me to the mall. And uh, my sister and I are sitting on Santa's lap. And I kid you not, I took 20 minutes going through every page of the catalog. I didn't even look at it yet. I wasn't even looking at it in line or in the car on the way there, so I didn't know what was in the catalog. I was sitting on Santa's lap, and for the first time going through the catalog, I'm like... Okay, Santa, I think I want that. Actually, no, I want that in that color. I also want that, that, maybe that. Next page. Hmm. That. It was a huge Toys R Us catalog. So many kids from my school were there 
walking past me and pointing at me, laughing at me. And I just hear those echoes behind me and I remember looking over and I just see these kids from school laughing at me because I have a catalog pointing at what I want to Santa Claus. Because in their mind they're like, oh she still believes in Santa, what a dweeb. And I did, I was a dreamer. But I just ignored it. I was like, whatever, they don't, they don't understand. I'm woke. They wish they were doing this, you know? Like, I don't care what people think of me and I'm gonna keep doing this because how else am I gonna get what I want? So I just flipped through. My sister was literally sitting there like, oh my God. And everyone in the Santa line, because the Santa line is always super long, they're all just getting so frustrated, like tapping their foot and they're just like looking around and they're like looking at their watch. And my mom's just like, ha ah, ha ha, this is so cute. Like taking pictures of me showing Sam what I want, but she's so anxious because she hears the parents behind her like, oh my God, like it would be one thing if it took five minutes to flip through. I was sitting on his lap for 20 minutes. It was so embarrassing and no one wanted to tell me to stop because I was cute and like no one wanted to ruin my joy because I was so excited showing Santa what I wanted but you could tell even Santa was getting frustrated it was just a whole ass mess my mom saw that I was bringing a catalog to the mall and she was like oh that's cute she's gonna show him two things on the catalog that's so cute she didn't know I was gonna flip through each freaking page when we were in the car my mom was like sweetie you can't do that anymore I was so embarrassed to go back the next year because I thought it was gonna be the same Santa and I thought it was gonna remember me. But it's always a different guy now that I look at the pictures. But in my sweet little pure heart, I thought that was the Santa that was gonna give me my gifts. I also remember this year, this one year, this is so cringy. I was in kindergarten, I think, and there was this new toy on the scene. It was like the brand new cool toy. It was a robot dog. It was just like a robot puppy and there was like a little switch and it could walk around and pant at you like <laughs> and then walk a few steps, turn around. It was kind of sick. Now that I think about it, that's so cool. I want one of those now so I don't feel so alone in my apartment. Anyway. So I really wanted this robot puppy. I cried to my mom every single night. It was in one of the Toys R Us catalogs. The Toys R Us catalogs played a huge role in my life, apparently. I knew I wanted to name this dog Zoe, like I already had the name in my head. And I was like, mom, I just really want Zoe so bad. This is so first world problems, but I was a little kid, all right? So I really wanted the brown because it came in brown and black. And I would cry and I was like, Mom, please tell Santa. Like, I need Zoe. And then I remember I reminded her every day. I was like, are you telling Santa? And my mom's like, yeah. And I was like, please don't forget to tell Santa. And then I remember I woke up the next morning. I was so giddy. I opened up my present from Santa. And it's the, ro <laughs> it's the robot dog. But it was black. <laughs> And I wanted the brown chocolate lab one, not the black lab one. And I was such a spoiled bitch! I started crying. I was like, this isn't Zoe! Who is this? Get this imposter away from me. Where is Zoe, my chocolate lab queen? I seriously was so disgusted. I was like, I don't know who this is, but this ain't Zoe. Because I just looked at the dog in the catalog as Zoe, the brown chocolate lab. My mom freaked out. She was like, oh no, 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 I'll go talk to Santa. I'll call Santa right now. Um, and I'm just like crying. I'm like, Zoe! Just so heartbroken. <laughs> and then my mom, she grabs the black dog and is on the phone and she was like, I'm gonna call Santa right now and tell him to fix this. And my mom went to Toys R Us and exchanged it for Zoe, came back walked in the room, already put the batteries in, and was just holding Zoe like it was a new puppy, and comes in and puts a little bow on it. And I'm in the living room and my eyes light up and I'm like, <laughs> and then my mom puts him on the ground and she's walking towards me and I start bawling my eyes out. And I'm like holding this <laughs> robot dog. 
I had a huge imagination as a kid. Until I was in sixth grade, every single day that I would come home from school, I would line up my stuffed animals because I had a whiteboard in my playroom and I would play teacher. And I would look at these stuffed animals as if they were real kids. It was kind of low key weird, but it was cute. But it was crazy how much my imagination really thought that they were real. I would talk to them, I would imagine what they would say back to me, I would respond to them. That I saw this dog as a real puppy, and that's why I was so happy. At my kindergarten, they had a pet day. At pet day, all of the kids brought their real pets, their real dogs, their real bunnies, their real kitties. I came to school with Zoe on a leash. And I had a real dog at home. Like, I had a real grown dog, Rocky, my real chocolate lab dog. And I just thought that Zoe was Rocky's puppy, but Zoe was my puppy. Turned him on so he's walking with me and we walk into that preschool and the teacher almost had a heart attack. She was laughing and just, she thought it was like the cutest thing ever and she thought it was so pure and sweet. And now to think back on it, it was really pure because I thought this dog was a real puppy and everyone else had fucking real animals and I just had a robot. <laughs> That's honestly so cool though. I was like the coolest kid in my class. I bring a freaking robot and like barked and shit. It was so sick. <laughs> anyway, so that's a funny memory. Um, and then another funny memory. My sister and I were in high school. I was a freshman and she was a senior. And during Christmas time, my mom gets really, really stressed. My mom's the one wrapping all the presents. She's the one preparing the meal, the big Christmas meal for everyone. She's just the one doing all of the things and I really appreciate her for all of that. Thank you, mom. As my mom is preparing the Christmas dinner in the kitchen, my sister and I are kind of lingering around. My dad's watching TV. My sister and me and my mom all got in a three-way fight about something. I don't remember what it was about. It just escalated and escalated and escalated, and then we were all just yelling at each other as my mom's cooking our Christmas meal, and me and my sister were just kind of being bratty about something. And my mom literally slammed her spatula down and she was like, you know what, you ungrateful brats? Guess where we're having Christmas dinner? Mick fucking Donald, get in the car. And my aunt and my uncle are in the family room watching football with my dad and they're just like, oh my God. And my sister and I were like, no, 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 no. Like, Sorry, we're sorry. Keep keep cooking, like we're really, really sorry. And she was like, Get in the car. I am so over it. I'm so over it. Fuck Christmas. Fuck this. Get in the car. I'm not in the mood anymore. Not in the spirit. You guys are ungrateful. Get in the car. We're going to McDonald's. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear another word. My sister and I looked at each other because this was the first time my mom snapped like this. Because my mom would never be caught dead in McDonald's on Christmas. So my sister and I were kind of like, ha, that's funny. She'll probably just like take us to a different restaurant or something. Like there's no way Barb's gonna be caught in McDonald's on Christmas. And my mom was fuming. Her neck veins were popping out takes off her apron, hangs it up. She goes to the dining room table, gets all of the silverware, all of the placemats, takes it all off, rips the tablecloth off, puts everything away. My sister and I are just completely silent. It's so silent in the house. My dad still has his headphones in because my dad can't hear that well. And he was watching the football game, so he had, he had no idea what was happening. But my aunt and my uncle were just like, oh my god, are we really going to McDonald's? Barb snapped. And we told my dad, and my dad was like, are you kidding me, kids? Are you kidding me? And I was like, dad. Because we really hate disappointing Rick. So we all pile up in my mom's minivan. No words that whole car ride. No one said a word. My mom just awkwardly turned on Christmas music and was just so pissed. Neck veins still flexed, 
so mad. Me and my sister were texting each other in the car. We were like, there's no way she's taking us to McDonald's. Like, lo and behold, my mom pulls into McDonald's, <laughs> immediately gets out of her car, opens up the side doors, and was like, out. It just looked really sad in that McDonald's. There was like a few homeless people in the McDonald's sitting by themselves. And it was just a really sad environment. And I think my mom really wanted us to sit in that and really feel bad for ruining the Christmas. My mom just really wanted us to just feel all of it. And we're standing in line at McDonald's. My mom's like, what do you girls want? And my sister and I look at each other and we're like, I guess we'll just split a 20 piece nugget. Maybe a Coke, if that's okay. Um, my dad paid for all of us, even my aunt and my uncle. We sat at a pretty big space in the McDonald's and my sister and I, and no one really said a word. And I kept like looking away because I was sitting at the very end of the table and I kept like trying to fight tears and I kept like going like this. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel so bad. I was such a douchebag. Like poor Barb, man. We were so ungrateful little twerps. I'm so glad that my sister and I aren't like that anymore. Um, because we actually get that my mom's like a human being and not just a mom that cooks and cleans and feeds us. We look at her as a human being, so we would never do that to her. But the fact that we even made my mom snap like that, where she took, if you knew my mom, I know you've seen little glimpses of my mom. My mom would never, ever take us to McDonald's on Christmas. That's just something, that's like a thing in Barb's mind that does, does not compute. So that was just a really crazy experience. I don't know. I'm so sorry, mom, if you're watching this. Love you. To end this on a happier note, um, <laughs> my dad is truly so hilarious for many reasons. But during Christmas time, <laughs> my dad, <laughs> he's been doing this since we were babies. He has a Santa suit that he puts on every Christmas Eve and during the night he puts all of the Christmas presents under the tree just in case if my sister and I woke up in the middle of the night it looked like Santa was there putting Christmas presents under the tree. Is that not the purest thing ever? And my mom would always be with him and help him put on his suit and like take pictures of him putting the presents under the tree. And then my mom would show us the next morning and we'd be like, oh my God, Santa was here. And my mom and my dad would like look at each other and like smile and laugh. Cause that was like their little inside thing that they did. That's some cute shit right there guys. But I remember one time in high school, I woke up on Christmas morning and I'm just kind of grumpy and I go downstairs and I see my dad dressed up in the Santa suit and I'm just like, you expect me to entertain this before my morning coffee? Cause my dad's like, ho, 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 little guy. Like being like super extra and funny and it's like 7 a.m. and I'm just like, Hi, dad. <laughs> just so pissed. Not pissed at my dad, because it's really cute, but I just, <laughs> I just couldn't handle that energy so early in the morning, because obviously it's my dad and he's being hilarious, but I'm just like, <laughs> I just woke up, dad. And he's like dancing in the kitchen. And I'm like, Here's a picture of that morning. I was trying so hard to be happy in this picture, but you can tell in my face, I'm like, oh my God, I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you cringed along with me and just don't be a little bitch on Christmas and just be thankful for what you got. There are people that don't get any Christmas presents, so be grateful. Okay, love you guys so much, and I hope you have a holly jolly Christmas. Call or text your parents. Love you guys. Like every other day, did I miss?